Shalom friends. Last week I did an AMA on our Judaism. Shout out to the subreddit community. Shout out to the moths. Shout out to everybody. Um, and somebody asked a really great question. Actually, a lot of people asked very good questions, but there was one question in particular that I also wanted to bring here. And that question was, did I have a recommendation for a self-described fairly secular American Jew who longed to connect to Judaism, but was at a loss as to where to start. And I did, I did have a recommendation. Welcome to Jewish Book Reactions, episode two. Here all along, finding meaning, spirituality, and a deeper connection to life in Judaism after finally choosing to look there by Sarah Hurwitz. So firstly, Sarah Hurwitz is brilliant. She is a former presidential speechwriter. She wrote both uh, speeches for President Obama and also for First Lady Michelle Obama. So she knows, she knows how to write. She knows how to convey an idea. So in the intro to the book, she talks a bit about her background with Judaism. As a child, she went to a Hebrew school where she was taught in an incredibly boring and personal way, leading to her not really wanting to ever go back and thinking the whole thing, Judaism, Jewishness, was a snooze fest. Which, let's face it, is an experience a lot of people have had. For some reason, we talk about Judaism in the most boring ways imaginable. Which is weird to me, because I think it's fucking fascinating. But anyway, in the book, she shares how she ended up going on a journey of Jewish discovery herself as an adult. In her mid-30s, after a bad breakup, she takes an intro to Judaism class. I'm sure we've all been there. And she discovers that things are not exactly as she had previously understood them. She writes, What I discovered in my class utterly floored me. I had always thought of myself as a good person. But the Jewish ethics we studied set a much higher bar for honesty, generosity, and basic human decency than I had ever thought to set for myself. Once I actually understood the purposes of the holidays and life cycle rituals, they struck me as beautiful and profound, honoring the lessons of the past, sanctifying moments in the present, and conveying deep moral wisdom. Seen through adult eyes, the whole sensibility of Judaism spoke to me. Its intellectual rigor, its creativity and humanity, its emphasis on questioning and debate. This wasn't the stale, rote Judaism of my childhood. It was something relevant, endlessly fascinating, and alive. That is, in fact, the vibe that Sarah Hurwitz manages to bring to this book, encapsulating Jewishness and Jewish ideas very succinctly in a way that does not actually make you want to go out and watch paint dry for an interesting change of pace. Things she covers in this book include, but are not limited to, the Torah, the Talmudic process of interpretation. Who are those sages that I'm talking about all the time? Who, who are they? What are mitzvot? What is Shabbat? What are all the holidays and what do they mean? Life cycle rituals from birth to death, blessings, study, Jewish ideas of heaven and hell, reincarnation, dibbuks. The concept of Jewish atheism, which is something that pops up in my comments, other people's comments all the time. Jewish history, important Jewish thinkers, different Jewish cultures and languages, how it's an ethno-religion. She talks about so many of my personal favorite Jewish things. So am I biased? Yes, I am. But I'm allowed. I'm allowed because the opinion asked was in fact mine. I give her even more props because I can't really imagine how challenging it must have been to write a book like this that does not assume knowledge, it defines everything, but also emphasizes the importance of trying to gain that knowledge. I know it can be extremely intimidating to think about learning all of this, but that's a normal thing to experience and she felt the same way. She writes, I once complained to a rabbi with whom I was studying that to learn about Judaism, I felt like I needed to read hundreds of books and read them all at the same time. And even then I would still hardly know anything. Yes, he replied, welcome to the club. So if you also wanna be in the continually confused and continually learning club, I highly recommend this book. It is a great first step on that learning journey. I give it 613 out of 613 commandments. 